Hi everyone! Today I will introduce eight types of kamae. Practice these stances while mating with your chushin. Okay, let's begin! Today we are going to practice at the Sengakuji. Okay, let's go! First, let me show you the whole flow. You can practice each part in front of a mirror. When you get used to it, then you can do all the kamae without losing your center. As you do this, you improve your center and the timing of your breath improves. This is called shonen no shouzoku. It is like a moving Zen meditation. Hidari Jordan, your left hand is above your left eye. It's about one fist away from your forehead. Your left foot is straight. Your right foot is at a 45 degree angle. Your body is at a 45 degree angle. This causes your soul to able to be at a 45 degree angle. It's also called Dai Jordan, which means big stance. Your forehead is in the same position. Your tandem faces forward and your left hand comes to the center. Both feet point straight ahead. Now your sword is centered. This stance allows you to easily swing forward or backward. Mihaso, the tsuba is at the height of your mouth. Your left shoulder faces your opponent. The braid should face your opponent. Keep your sword pointing straight up. Your left foot points forward and your back foot is at a 45 degree angle. And both legs slightly bend. There are versions in which it is slanted, but today we will do it straight. Hidari Hasso, the tsuba is at the height of your mouth. Your right shoulder faces your opponent. Your right foot points forward and your back foot is at a 45 degree angle. Both arms are relaxed. When you practice this, check that each of these points is down correctly. Keep the tsuba level as you move from right to left Hasso. This is a good practice for mastering Chushin. Wakigamae, your left shoulder is revealed to your opponent. It's challenging your opponent to attack your shoulder. The left hand is at the tandem. The sword is at a 45 degree angle. This is an excellent defensive posture. It allows you to center attack with shomen uchi, kesa, strike from below, or striking whole stepping back. 
your left foot points forward and your back foot is at a 45 degree angle and both legs will be bent. Onken, you hide your sword behind you so that they can't calculate their distance from your sword. The key is to keep your left hand at your tandem, your right hand very loose and your sword at a 45 degree angle. Your left foot points forward and your back foot is at a 45 or 90 degree angle. Stretch your back leg. From this position, you can do a variety of moves such as shoumen uchi, kesa, yaku kesa, and uke defense. Gedan, your left hand is at your tandem. The tip of your sword is just below your navel. Your sword is at the slight angle. Imagine a drop of water rolling off the tip. Both feet are pointed straight. You are ready to attack from below. Once you learn each stance, you can then practice them together as a series of movements in this order. Finally, you can practice them while moving around freely. This is Onken. Gedan. Migi hasso. Hidari hasso. Migi hasso. Hidari jodan. Migi jodan. When I shut my feelings out Look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, I, I. Thank you for watching. Uh, please let me know in the comment below. Subscribe and hit like if you enjoy this. Uh, here is uh, Sengakuji. There is uh, one of the most famous history here. It's uh, Akoroshi. This is a good price. Okay, thank you. See you next time.